Virgo, how's it going? Welcome to your mid-September general reading. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you always for your likes, shares, subscribes, donations, sweet comments, all that stuff. Y'all know I'm so grateful for you. As we always do, right after this general reading, I go right into your love reading, which is the extended. If you'd like to join the love reading, it's the first link in the description box below. And what we do over there in case you're new, hello and welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. But in the love readings, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with right now in love, romance, relationships. And we get into the conversation of what they're thinking, you're thinking, feelings, um, outcome energy, where is it all going? Uh, lots of cool stuff goes on in the love reading. So if you wanna check that out, just click the link below, okay? All right, Virgo, happy birthday. I hope y'all are celebrating and having a lovely, lovely time for your birthday. We're almost at your new moon, I think in a day or two. So happy also Virgo new moon. All right. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Virgo at this time? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's two more. Spirit, what does Virgo need to know at this time? This is for Virgo. This is the wild unknown deck, by the way. All right, Virgo, we've got the Father of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's you, baby, male or female. That's big money right there. That's big energy. It's my season. Look at me. Look at those beautiful antlers on that buck. I love it. Big money coming in, lots of security, lots of opportunity. Um, I just feel big, big energy, big rewards, big stuff. Father of Pentacles, no matter which way you slice it, yes, it's you, but also it's that it's that mature fatherly energy. So definitely money energy is looking really good and really powerful right now. You're in a very, very high position. So very good, Virgo. Let's see what else is going on for Virgo. All right, we have the Daughter of Wands, Younger Fire Energy. Could be dealing with uh, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius for some of you. Okay, let's do these first. We have the World card and the Father of Wands. So a mother, I'm sorry, a father and a daughter. Parent, child. Okay, we also, what I'm seeing right off the bat, even though these are fire energies, even whether you're dealing with a fire sign or not, I see a change. I see you ending a cycle of younger energy of maybe, you know, the, the, the page of wands can be sometimes immature action, stuff like that. And then immediately we go through a cycle and we, you know, the world card represents endings and new beginnings. So maybe for some of you, Virgo, you're either kind of releasing just immature ways from yourself or maybe immature people that are around you. Page of Wands is, um, if it's another person around you, they could just be very needy. And this type of energy is someone who's trying to grab your attention. Um, anyways, but you're, tr you're, you're ending that kind of a cycle in your life and you're coming into this King of, of Wands, Father of Wands, this more masculine, um, more mature energy. We have the Eight of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Daughter of Cups. Okay, so two pages. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, wow, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for some of you. We have the eights, we have two eights. Eights could be very significant. We have another eight, 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 eight. That's a really good number. We have the ace of pentacles, yes, baby. All right, last, last one out for Virgo, and then we're gonna talk about all this. More messages, okay. After the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my God, oh my God. 
What the heck, you guys? Then the Empress and the Emperor came out together. That is, I'm sorry. That's Twin Flame real big, real loud. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Strong soulmate connection. The Empress is... Um, divine feminine, emperor is divine masculine, Aries for some of you with the emperor energy. Wow, I got really excited. I got really, really excited here. Um, and with this ace of pentacles, you know, pentacles represent energy, money, um, security, right? And I feel like seeing the emperor and the empress and the ace of pentacles for some of you, um, there is either a, a twin flame union coming in very, very strongly for some of you, or um, just overall a connection, a divine connection that could really, really pay out. And I'm looking at all of the, um, you know, because this looks like a tree trunk that's been cut and, you know, you read the lines in a tree to see how old the tree is. But I'm seeing, you know, even beyond the lines, beyond the years, there's even more growth. So I feel like this is potentially saying you know, forever. This is saying this is an ongoing long connection that's coming in here. So, wow, let's break it down. So just like I was saying um, at the beginning, we start off with the Daughter of Wands, World Card, Father of Wands, Younger Fire Energy moving into a dominant masculine fire energy. So again, could be someone around you, but I really feel like this is um, your passions, your um, kind of the way that you behave or act, and maybe kind of your your younger ways, how maybe you were when you were younger, kind of, you know, whatever that means to you is now over. Or for some of you with this connection could be like my single life is now over. And because the father of wands and the mother of wands to me are like the husband and wife. They're super loyal. They're super, super confident. They're super passionate about each other. So this is like you really kind of calling in that energy and starting a new cycle of that. So very good. So you're in this high power, you know what you want, and the masculine energy is this is about looking forward into the future. You know, what what steps are you going to take to set up your foundation for the future? You know, stuff like that's coming in. This is about you taking actions. Um, and what I'm also seeing here, which is really cool, is I feel like you're getting a lot of signs and messages, like like way more than normal um, from spirit, so numbers, colors, signs, um, messages, a song on the radio. Um, so look at these lightning strikes and how they look almost exactly the same. You know, this is about messages coming in from above. Eight of Wands is messages from our higher selves, from spirit. And I feel like you're gaining this higher confidence in a connection or in a situation and you're like getting these, a lot of communication from spirit, okay? Also, Eight of Wands is, um, I almost feel like the communication that you're getting, Virgo, from spirit is like positive, like keep going. Yes, you got this. Like kind of reaffirming the path that you're on right now. And again, that's kind of prompting you to just be like, yes, I got this. You know, it's like ask and I shall receive. Like I, I ask spirit for a sign and they show me. So I feel like you're definitely getting a lot of confidence and messages right now. And what those messages are doing are kind of bringing you out of kind of a dark time with this four of cups to the page of cups. P uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be dealing with one of those for some of you. You know, so I feel like there's a lot of, I'm hearing breaking the code or breaking the silence, breaking the static, like breaking the break, breaking, breaking, like breaking out of the darkness or breaking out of old patterns and, and, and just old emotions that we've been sitting in Virgo for a while. I feel like a lot of that is going to change in a couple of days on your new moon and it might even be tomorrow. Is it tomorrow or the next day? Depending on where you're at. I'm in the States. Some of you, it might be a little bit earlier if you're over in the UK or whatever. But, you know, this is about, I feel like on your new moon, you're getting this like opportunity to kind of open back up and flirt with life again and feel and, and see colors again and see, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you're really coming back into this, this place of and with the Daughter of Cups, it could also be a romantic offer as well. It doesn't have to be from a um, from a water sign. But we do have a connection here, the Empress and the Emperor. So maybe there's been a start of something. One person might have also been hiding here. 
with the Four of Cups. One person's been hiding in their emotions or hiding in a, in a dark place for whatever reason, right? Five of Pentacles, kind of the old you was, um, you know what I mean? That, And I don't mean to say immature. Y'all know what I mean. I'm not saying that Virgo immature. Pages are immature energies is what I'm saying. So back in that old energy, there was also a lot of lack, a lot of, you know, could have been, you know, worries about money for sure. But, but more than that, I feel like you felt let down and you felt lonely. Um, again, I just feel like a sing like your single life is dying is dying off, and this huge partnership, this huge other energy is coming in, right? And a part of like your work on getting through this world card of on kind of completing this cycle, completing this old version of you. I mean, there's literally a snake here. The wands are snakes. You're literally shedding a skin, and I feel like you've you've already shed this skin. And you've already come into this connection for a lot of you, or it's about to come. So you, you know, we're realizing wherever it is that you were in work, in a connection, whatever, it wasn't enough. I'm not happy. I'm not fulfilled. I'm in lack. I'm in um, glass, glass, glasses half empty vibes over here with this kind of, uh, with these two cards. Right, so you, you got up and did something about it and, and Eight of Cups is about travel. So we saw a lot of eight, so this is about messages, traveling, and again, the Eight of Swords, very similarly of like the Four of Cups is kind of breaking um, breaking out of, uh, of a hard place, coming out of a place you've been stuck in for a long time, either emotionally, mentally, whatever that is for you. It's like you're kind of breaking out, breaking out of your shell, right? And then with this new energy, like I said, kind of harnessing this father of wands, this I can do it, I feel good. I'm good. Uh, it's the go-getter kind of kind of attitude and, and, and wands are about love and compassion. Like you're on fire and you're determined and you have a goal and you're going to get it. And under you is the 10 of pentacles, baby. <laughs> like the 10 of pentacles is everything it is the everything card where you have everything and more you have yourself your money your career your your partner your love this is like the whole again i just feel like with these two cards it's like your world is opening up this like little small circle is now it's like a whole other universe or you know what i mean is kind of opened up for you and also in this deck, what I'm feeling like, it looks very similar to the nine of pentacles here. And if you count them, there's 10 pentacles, but in the ninth one in the center, there's another one in there. So what I'm feeling in that, that was catching my attention, is I feel like for some of you, you still feel nine of pentacles, you still feel single or independent, when really you already have it all. This is out of 10, you've already completed the world card. You've already done the work. Um, you know what I mean? So you've already, and, and you've already, I just, I keep saying that because I feel like for some of you, uh, Virgo, I feel this, I feel this energy of like suffer, of suffering. Like you have to keep suffering through something to get something that you really want out of the 10 of pentacles. And I, I just want to remind you or, or maybe tell you, no, that's not a part of your story anymore. If something that you're trying to get involves suffering, no, no, there's no more suffering. I don't know why suffering is coming in, but we're not doing that. That's an old story and that story is dying off. Maybe, you know, you back when you were a kid, you had a very tough childhood and, and, and maybe, you know, five of pentacles, maybe your family, you know, y'all you know, really struggled in a big way. And for a lot of you, this is about money and, and worth and stuff like that. You know, you're changing your ways. You're like, you know what? My parents did the, did the best they could for me, but I want to do even better. And for some of you, I feel like you've already made the gains and you've already, um, the harvest is already here. You just need to realize it. You know what I mean? Okay. Because, because these messages you're getting, the eight over the eight, the eight of wands over the eight of swords is telling me that you're getting the messages but you're trapped, you're trapped in your own thoughts, okay? So it's kind of like letting spirit or, or being confident in those messages that you're getting here, Virgo, because you can break out of this. 
the direct this sword that you're hanging on to the other ones kind of have you trapped but there's one sort of truth here and it's pointing right to this ace of cups you know what direction you're headed to and that's complete abundance okay then we have the wheel of fortune your good karma your good your the goodness and, and and all the positive energy that over the last couple of weeks and months and years that you've been putting um into people and into your work and into your partnerships this is like the karma card like it's all coming back to you it's all coming back if you've been wondering why why have i been you know i just i put myself out there i extend i bend over backwards i help this person that 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 that, that you're virgo you're helping everybody all the time everyone always needs a virgo and I feel like now is another one of those times where you're reaping your rewards. It's harvest season. It's your season. It's time for you to really um, honor this connection. Again, I feel like this Ten of Pentacles has a lot to do with this Emperor and Empress vibe right here, which this is a husband and wife living in a home. This is a boyfriend and girlfriend having it all, like a divine masculine, a divine feminine, a twin flame, however you want to say it this is the real deal right here okay and for some of you with this father of swords at the bottom of the tech bottom of the deck with the dang two of cups underneath some of you even needed like a king of swords someone for you to just say right to your face yes this is right here i just feel like you have so much around you that you just don't even realize that you have it or maybe for some of you, it's about to be here. You know what I mean? It's about to be here. What you've been working on, probably this connection. I see another new moon, okay? So yeah, your moon is here, your moon is here. You're getting your gifts. You're getting your divine counterpart, okay? And if that doesn't, if you're like, well, that doesn't make sense for, it doesn't resonate for love, you know, divine counterpart is also um work stuff that you're maybe coming into alignment the old the, the younger you is now out of a cycle where you're making more money where maybe you're the boss you know what i mean like you're definitely lev leveling up i feel like in more ways than one partnership work career lots of money opportunity here lots of money opportunity here because you have the ten of pentacles and then you get even another opportunity which i feel like is this connection so go virgo happy freaking birthday what an amazing reading you literally have it all <laughs> like in parks and rec what's his name um you literally have it all rob uh what's his name is it rob Lowe? what is his name yeah whatever his character's name he's like literally literally that's what i feel like i, I just want to say virgo you literally have it all okay go you happy birthday if you want to do the love reading where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love right now just click the link below but if this is where we part i love you dearly and i'll see y'all soon